will pisces and thank you guys so much for tuning in all right guys so let's jump into the june reading let's see what's going on for all my fishies out there all right so this will be for sun moon rising and venus pisces signs keep in mind guys that the energy is always transferable so it could be your energy i'm picking up on or the energy of someone or something around you okay all right so what is going on with the sign of Pisces? Let's see if I can shuffle today. Your cards are jumpy, so maybe things are all over the place today. Um, we have the Five of Wands in the reverse, and we have the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. So maybe something doesn't go as expected, but you're in a way, you know, you're in a place where you just don't want any sort of problems in any way, shape, or form. All right, so let's see what this is about. All right, so you guys have your past, present, and we have future. Okay, beautiful. All right, so the energy here is the Page of Cups. All right, so this could be something that you guys are putting into play an idea that you have that you're putting out there something that you're starting something that you're developing maybe some sort of offer that's coming in um there's something that you may have been worried about okay or anxious about but it's like you're kind of losing faith in that or maybe you thought something wouldn't go to plan but it's like you're just you're not worried about that i see something that again could have been problematic but you guys it's like you're not giving too much attention to it so let's see what that's talking about okay so starting with your past we have the eight of cups reversed the hanged man and the king of wands so for some of you, maybe you were dealing with the Leo Aries or Sagittarius specifically, um, but I see something from your past that came back in, whether you reached out to this or it came into your life somehow, and you're in a place where you're really just trying to go with the flow. You're not trying to bend over backwards. Um, you're really just wanting to do what feels natural in all of this. Why is this Eight of Cups here reversed? We have the Two of Wands reversed. And we have the five of swords in the reverse. So something from the past came back in, but with that two of wands reversed, I don't think that this was necessarily the best thing. Maybe you were being manipulative towards this energy, or maybe this energy was being manipulative towards you. But I don't see this as a path that you're really meant to be on. I don't think that this is something that necessarily may have caused conflict, but it's just like you went back to this, but maybe because you felt lost. So maybe this is like reaching out to an ex at a time where you feel weak, or maybe they reached out to you, um, or maybe you're hearing from an old boss who's like, hey, would you ever want to come back? And you're like, hey, no, you know? So it could be that sort of thing there. Um, but yeah, there's something from the past that like reoccurred in some way, shape, or form. Um, it didn't necessarily bring you product uh, problems, rather, but you knew that this just wasn't your path, okay? You knew that... It, you know, maybe you would have a toxic impact on this or maybe it would have a toxic impact on your life, okay? Um, but you're just going with the flow. So I don't see you, like, fighting someone um, and saying, like, oh, I'm going to treat you like shit, like, you're not meant to be in my life anymore. I just see you, like, oh, you know, I'll say hi, I saw you, but, like, if you think we're going to, you know, be close friends or anything like that, you have nothing coming. So I just see someone who's kind of letting things happen, um, but they're not really taking a path that they know could throw them off. All right, we have the Three of Swords. And we have the Two of Swords in the reverse. So whether this is you or someone else around you, you know, there's someone who feels upset, disappointed, maybe even heartbroken um, in a situation. Um, if that's you guys feeling that way or whoever was feeling that way, I feel like regardless of that feeling, you still took a go with the flow energy. So it's like, I could be heartbroken right now, but I'm not going to blow your shit up. Like, I'm not going to call you a thousand times. Or, you know, I might be heartbroken about this, but I'm not going to make a status about it on Facebook every two minutes. You know, I'm just going to take it in as it comes and just try to release the pain as best I can. So, again, whether you're heartbroken or someone else's, you just really want to take the path of least resistance. Like, I, I feel someone who's too tired to fight, okay? There is something that could be available to you in this past situation, 
but I don't see you guys really going for it because like yeah it's available and it would emotionally fulfill someone okay whether that's you or maybe someone around you but I just don't see it as something that you guys want to manifest it's like I feel like somebody would have been happy here but for a lot of you maybe it's you that's not happy so it's just like I'm not gonna do this okay there could have been a lot of changes okay but I feel like with whatever the situation is um, I don't want to say this with whatever the situation is um, again there's just someone who it's like they're they're not trying to screw anyone over they're just I see someone who's going through a lot of changes and they're allowing the interactions that are coming into their life because they know that there's so much that they can't control but they're not in a place where they're willing to kind of get back to anything from the past okay especially if it was something that didn't work for them prior okay I see someone who's completely done with the chapter. They're just letting life happen in whichever way it happens, but they know they're done with something. Um, so again, yeah, maybe someone just wanted more out of you guys, or maybe you wanted more out of a situation, but you weren't getting it. Um, and I think that, again, innately, deep down inside, someone knows that they're not going to take a certain path, but maybe somebody else is kind of like excited about it. Okay. The last card here is the King of Wands. So let's see why this is here. We have the world card. And we have the nine of cups. So something comes in that you guys are strongly passionate about. And you're very, very happy about this. It's bringing in like a whole new chapter in life. But there's going to be something that's not going to be successful. But whatever this was, it's not something that was being reciprocated anyways. Okay. So again, maybe you guys allowed certain things from your past to come back in, but maybe it was like to cope or maybe someone did that to you. Um, but again, with whatever wasn't successful, it, it, it wasn't going to be successful anyways. I just feel like, you know, um, with whomever or whatever was involved in this, like, I don't feel like equal energies was coming from everybody. Okay. For some of you, maybe this had to do with the Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn specifically, but there may have been secrets in that situation. Okay. Now, in the present moment, we have the King of Cups, the Moon card, and the Page of Swords reversed. Okay. Someone is seeing the truth of something where there may have been manipulation or maybe there was cheating. Um, and this could be something that brings about arguing. But let's see why this is coming up. We have the Two of Cups. And we have the Emperor in the reverse. Honestly, there's some sort of, whether it's you guys to someone or someone towards you, there's some sort of strong connection here where I feel like, especially if this has to do with love, someone may be like, oh, this person is my soulmate. And the universe is like, oh my God, no, it's not. How do you not see that? Because I see someone that genuinely thinks something is good and they have a hard time releasing it. But it's like somebody else knows it's not good, but they're not necessarily saying that. So I feel like someone has a genuine look on them, view on something where they think it's really good for them and another person may know that it's not good for them in a sense, but they're not necessarily saying that. They're kind of just going with the flow of things. So that's really what I'm picking up on. I hope this makes sense. This is your energy, guys. But I have it in my Pisces moon, so I'll see how it applies once I rewatch it in the future. But yeah, it's like you have these passionate beginnings that are coming in, but there's something that's difficult to let go of even if it's not you who's having difficulty letting go all right with the moon card reversed as the center of your reading this is like the core energy for you guys so this is going to be a lot of clarity a lot of understanding a lot of healing that you go through we have the wheel of fortune reversed and the star card in the verse. So yeah, someone sees a truth where it's just like, damn, this is definitely not going to go the way I wanted it to. So I'm going to lose faith. I'm going to lose hope in this. Okay. But again, I feel as if someone else is completely unbothered by this not working out. Okay. So I feel like someone is just heavily in something and someone else isn't. All right. Page of Swords reverse. Why are you here? We have the Page of Cups. And we have the Four of Cups. So, there is, again, something that's offered to you, something that could be there. And 
I think that the problem with this, guys, and I know that this is going to be very specific, is I think that with whatever this was, regardless of the end that you ended up on, you either sounded very, very genuine or had a very genuine part in this, okay? Even if, like, let's say, for example, this is someone who, like, really wanted to be with you, okay? And you didn't want to be with them. I don't think that you guys did anything malicious. I think that you guys were very kind, but I don't think that you may have had the same um, idea about something as somebody else. So there's an issue here where it's like, someone may have their two cents and someone may be pissed off and someone's upset about an offer that's not being accepted or an offer that was never even put on the table and it's just like damn but they were so nice how is this not you know falling through how is this not happening so it's like you guys are still seen as a kind and loving person and i think that that's what kind of is messing someone up or again maybe that's messing you up because maybe you put your genuine all into trying to build something but it just didn't unfold the way that you wanted it to, okay? So moving forward, guys, there's a lot of balance here, all right? You recover from any losses that you felt. You recover from any burden you were holding on to. Um, if you were feeling like you were trying to find balance and you were feeling like you were trying to find equilibrium in your life, you finally do, all right? So we have the Ten of Wands reversed, the Five of Cups reversed, and the Two of Cups reversed. And yes, guys, I did shuffle this. Um, people ask me, is your... Uh, deck upside down there's no such thing as upside down with my decks they're always shuffled it's always the same let spirit speak okay all right so why is this ten of wands here reversed we have the page of wands and we have the hierophant so you guys go towards something that you're very strongly passionate about and it feels good for you Pisces and this is something that's meant to be in your life someone feels cheated by this but it's not something your soul even wanted to take part in anyways. So for some of you, maybe someone, again, feels cheated by what you're doing. And it's just like, look, I'm sorry you feel that way, but this was never going to work. Or maybe you feel very upset about something that didn't work out. But if that's the case, then your soul is saying, hey, that wasn't for us anyways. Okay. Um, but regardless of what end you're on, there's full recovery. Okay. When this is upright, this is sadness, this is lost, this is, you know, feeling defeated. Here, you're not feeling that way no more. We have the Knight of Pentacles. And we have the Eight of Swords. So for some of you, maybe this had to do with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn in some way, shape, or form. But... You're going in a new direction, but your mind is still kind of stuck on something that wasn't being reciprocated. Something where there was like some sort of fallout. But whatever that was, guys, it was toxic for you. Okay? So whether this applies to the Pisces or to the Cross Watcher, you know, you're trying to hold on to something that just it, it wasn't good for you. And you have this new beginning here, so pay attention to that. You know, when you have the Five of Cups, you want to pay more attention to what you still have going for you as opposed to what might not be working, you know, in your life anymore. But again, guys, Two of Pentacles reversed. You finally have balance. There's no more of a juggling act. So let's see how you guys, you know, get to that point. We have the Ace of Cups. And we have the Magician in the reverse. Yeah, guys, whether it's you or someone else, someone is under some sort of delusion that there can only be complete happiness in a situation if you're involved in it. And it's like, you know, on a soul level, you're not meant to be involved in it. And you have something that balances you and makes you happy and you're taking an approach towards that. But it's just like someone is just really kind of just pissed off that there's something that you're no longer going to be in. And like, honestly, I just picture Pisces, like, you know, those cartoons where like someone's doing something crazy and you see like one of the cartoon characters just like slowly inching away, backing up and then running out the back door. That's what I see you guys doing. Like, it's like, okay, I know you're upset. Let me just go to the bathroom real quick and then you book it, you know? So it's that sort of thing. It's like, you know what you want, but there's some sort of delusion. Someone's delusional here. That's what I'm picking up on. It's like someone really thought that something could work out great with you, but it's something that you weren't meant to be in. 
okay and again this doesn't have to be love maybe again it could be a boss it could be um, maybe a family member that doesn't want you to move away and they think that you know life won't work without you there tending to them that sort of thing okay What is the advice here? Okay. We have the Ten of Cups reversed. Eight of Swords in reverse. Page of Pentacles in the verse. Whether it's you or someone else, someone is realizing no matter what I do, no matter what I say, no matter how I try to go about it, you know, with something that I'm trying to build, it's just, it's not going to happen. And I see that for what it is now. So maybe you're unhappy about that, or maybe someone else is unhappy about that. Okay. But someone wanted to build something that's not going to work out. And with the person who's choosing not to allow it to work out, I see them being very adamant and standing very strongly, you know, in their position to not let it work out. Seven of Swords in the reverse. There's going to be something that's revealed to you or to someone around you where they're going to be unhappy about it, okay? Um, you know, someone is seeing that something just needs to be put in the past. And you know what with this sort of energy it doesn't even need to be put in the past in a malicious way it's just like look it's ran its course you know there's no need to be for you know there's no need for you to come outside my window and start yelling you know so someone is just trying to stand their ground with not allowing something in and letting bygones be bygones but yeah something is being completely cut out so that you guys could focus because Maybe some of you were waiting on something where there was problems with someone or maybe there was issues with something that may have ended in the past, but now I see that picking back up for you guys. But um, again, it's not tied to this thing where someone feels that you need to be part of something that I don't see you guys needing to be part of, okay? Um, with the steps that you guys are taking, again, you're going towards something that's going to be in your life for a long time. So that's why someone is so adamantly saying no to something because they have something with longevity that's promised to them. Okay, um, and I know guys that as Pisces, you know, you're going to feel things a lot deeper than, you know, most signs and June particularly is going to be such a tough month with a lot of like things that are going to go on astrologically speaking just in the world. Um, I feel it. I know a lot of other readers and empaths are feeling it. So just do your best not to take things personally. You might notice that people are on your ass more often, that they're bitching more often, that people are attacking you more often. Um, it's just the energy in the world right now. So don't take it personally. And if you guys can avoid fights, definitely do it. Um, I definitely don't give in to energies. If I see someone upset with me, especially if it's someone I love, I'll walk to the other room or I'll go for a walk until someone's, you know, cooling down. I just too tired to fight, too old to fight. Okay. All right, guys. So if you guys need any sort of personal readings, the only readings I'm doing right now is emergency readings because I got super backed up. So if this reading does resonate with you, you guys can always make donations. That's literally what's keeping me going right now and what's letting me, you know, keep the channel up. But you guys have all that information in the description below to make a donation or to book that emergency reading. Emergency readings come out within 24 hours. My, um, Instagram and my Twitter is also in the description. You can follow me on Instagram, High Vibrations 44. You can also follow me on Twitter, Bruja Ship. Take care, guys.